Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, minimum addition to make integer beautiful. The problem states that you are given two positive integers n and target and you want to make this integer n beautiful. What is the definition of beautiful? Uh, integer is considered beautiful if the sum of digits is less than equal to target. Okay, so you can you can add any positive integer x to this given integer n to make it beautiful and you need to find the minimum such positive, integ um, positive integers. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's say this six, uh, n is 16 and target is 6. So which basically means that uh, you have to like uh, return, uh, like you have to add something here such that the sum is less than equals to 6. So currently the sum is 1 plus 6, 7, which is greater than 6. Uh, so let's say if we add 4 here, it will become 20. And 20, the sum of uh, digits of 20 is 2 plus 0, which is 2. So 2 is less than equals to 6. So that's where 20 is a beautiful number. And we get it by adding 4 to this. Uh, given number so hence the answer is 4 you can try any other positive integer and try adding it to this uh, number 16 you will not be able to make it beautiful with any integer less uh, less than equals to 4 okay so that's where 4 is the answer because 4 is minimum such non-negative integer okay so hope the problem statement is clear now let's look at the constraint like notice that if uh, we would have to like the basic solution could be to just iterate over x like x is 1 2 3 4 and so on and so forth and uh, once you iterate like uh, okay let's discuss it uh, uh, so let's say this is a this is your uh, given number and this is a target so what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, find one, uh, such possible x such that adding it to n will make the digit sum less than equals to target okay so what you can try in a brute force manner is to uh, try all possible value of x so what what are like x is a positive integer right so all possible values of x would be 1 2 3 uh, so on and so forth up till uh, some let's say 10 to the power 9 or something like that okay now the, what this uh, bigger bound would be we will come to know but let's say uh, what uh, you have to do you have to start from the top because you have to find minimum such x and keep on applying this operation and finding the sum and seeing if it is less than equal to target or not okay that is the simplest approach now what will be the time complexity of this approach number of possible x multiplied by uh, the number of digits here or multiply by constant basically you just have to sum it up and check whether the result resultant sum of digits is less than equal to target so that is uh, a constant okay so the complexity would be superseded by the x we are trying to iterate over now if you look at it uh, we have to iterate over all possible value of x which means uh, so x n is up to 10 to the power 12 right so whatever what is the best possible case best possible case would be uh, that this is our number all zeros one after one there is all zeros right this is our possible uh, best possible case so for making this case and what will be the value of this the value of this would be 10 to the power 13 right because 10 to the power 12 is already given so it can happen that uh, you have like this so 10 to the power 12 is the maximum value right so this this is the total like uh, maximum possible value of x so this will be your time complexity and surely this will not pass so now you like might be thinking that okay uh, i have uh, iterated over like x linearly so why not apply binary search over this range and see if we get the answer uh, that is a good thought but uh, if you remember to apply binary search you have to find a function 
that uh, by saying which you can either decide to go left or completely decide to go right right but what is the function here the function here is whether uh, adding x like if you are finding the value of x function of x would be adding whether adding x will give sum of digit okay let let's take this so sum of digit of n plus x is less than or equal to 10 or not right this is your function now you can see this function if it is true for one x it will not be true for all the x before it for example let's say uh, let's take this 16 example if you uh, it is valid or uh, you can add 4 here to make it 20 which is actually uh, less than equals to let's say the target was uh, uh, 2 okay target here is 2 so you can add 4 here to make it 20 and and this will be your answer but now if you think uh, if you have added 4 does it mean that adding any other value greater than 4 would uh, achieve the target answer is no if you add 5 if you add 5 here you will be getting 21 and you can see sum of 2 plus 1 is 3 so you can't actually say that okay if I have uh, if I have landed on a point and the function is true at that point it will remain true afterwards or it will remain true before so in a way we are not getting any step function here neither this nor this okay so that's where we can't apply binary search so if you are unfamiliar with any of these concepts I would encourage you to watch the previous video where I explained where all we can apply binary search and how to determine it easily okay so hope this point is clear that we can't apply binary search so this problem was not that difficult I just uh, explained all this just to make sure that you understand how to approach this in a live contest uh, if similar problem comes okay so now let's jump to we, we know that we can't apply we can iterate over x that is not possible so now we have to apply the operation directly on this integer so now it's the time to make some observations so one observation that you can make is you have to find the minimum possible value of x okay so minimum uh, let's say you first try to find the one digit value of x if you are able to do so and if that satisfies the target you are done if you are not able to find one digit value you will then try finding out two digit value of x okay or uh, so what what in a way we are doing we are trying to let's say you have to decrease the sum here so if you if you have to decrease the sum you will have to uh, like what is your choice you can add something here now what you will add you will add something such that it will become zero right so that this contribution completely goes away so let's say you have to add something you will not add one here because adding one would increase it similarly you will not add two here and neither you will add three sorry neither neither you will add two but you if you add three here this will become zero and that's what you want you have decreased the sum from like you have decreased the contribution of this digit from 7 to 0 now once you have done this you have carried over 1 to the previous uh, digit so this now this 1 now becomes 1 uh, sorry this 0 now becomes 1 because you have carried over the digit now what you can see whether the current uh, sum or the current number that you form does it satisfy the target if the answer is yes you are done otherwise what you will do that okay this doesn't satisfy the target so I have to take this number into consideration as well okay so hope you get the approach let's uh, try to uh, generalize it so now we know how to decrease the contribution of single digit to something else okay so now is the time to find out minimum such possible value of x okay so let's see what what to do so as we discussed minimum possible value of x would be if number of digits in x is less the x would be minimum right so that's we will try to ma minimize the number of digit of x like we'll try to minimize number of digits on which we have to apply some operation okay so initially we will try with one digit okay that is we will take one digit value of x so what value you will take here it depends on what is the value above the value above is zero 
okay so because the value above is zero you if you add something here let's say 1 2 3 uh, anything it will actually increase your sum okay so you will just add zero here so that that will uh, make your sum uh, zero now is 7 so because now you you will find out what is the uh, like basically this is your new uh, number or be, or in other words this is your new number okay now you will try to see whether this number satisfies this target or not that is sum of all the it is less than equal to target or not if the answer is yes you are done but otherwise you will have to apply the operation on second digit now you, uh, let's say you have to apply the second operation here so if you apply the operation here what exactly you will add here you will not we have seen that we will not add 1 or 2 we will add 3 here because that would make it zero okay and neither we will add 4 or 5 right because if we add 4 or 5 it will this will again increase the sum to something else we want to decrease the sum as much as we can so we will add 3 here and this will become zero and because of 3 because of this zero one is carried over and this one will become uh, this zero will become one okay now the new number that we have is this uh right so we will try to find whether this is the target so the current is 9 plus 9 18 26 27 27 is not less than equal to 10 so this this is the target so what we will do we will apply the operation on this digit now so this was one what you will add here 9 right because 9 will make it zero so this will become zero and now again one is carried over to the previous one so this will become 9 so now the current uh, number is this so what is the sum 9 plus 9 plus 9 27 which is again not less than equal to 10 so this is not done now we will apply the operation in next digit we will add one here because this was 9 so this will become 0 and one is carried over to the previous one so this will become 0 and again one is carried over so this will become 0 and now finally we we will add one before this digit so now this is your new number So does it satisfy the target? The answer is yes. There is one, the sum of all the digit is one, which is less than equal to ten. So we are done. So what is the answer? What is our answer? Answer is one nine three zero. Okay. So hope you get the approach how we are solving it. Let's look at the pseudo code. Uh, so it is exactly similar to what we discussed. We will convert our given number to a digit array. Now we will try to find out the difference of the sum, or basically what we have to remove. If difference is greater than zero, right? that is we have to do something now what we will do we will always apply operation on the la on the last mo on the last digit always right so what we have what we have done we have find what need we need to add based on what we need to add we will uh, push it to our result set okay and uh, we will pop it bang from the digits because we know we are adding if we are adding something this resultant will be zero we know that because there is if we do anything else uh, this will have some contribution which means we have not decided an optimal value of this digit yet so that's where whatever we if we are adding something here we are sure that this will be zero here so we can just directly like what i have done for simplicity i have removed it from the digits array at all now finally if there is a because we are making it zero so there will be a carry over for sure and if there is a carry over we will add this carry over to the next digit and apply it over the rest of the digit so basically if you you have noticed that adding one here would uh, lead carry over to forward to the previous digits and finally we get this number so we have to do this operation and once we have calculated the new diff we can simply find the sum and um, subtract it with the target and see if it is still less than equals to if, if it is still greater than 0 if it is we will apply the operation on the next digit so there is one edge case in this uh, uh, current uh, pseudo code that we have written added is 10 minus this so what if digit is 0 so if digit is already zero we don't have to do anything so that case we will have to handle by ourselves okay so hope the uh, entire solution is clear what is the time complexity time complexity is uh, you are iterating over the digits and with each iteration you are again iterating over the digit to find the sum so time complexity would be order d square uh, notice that the second d that we are doing you can remove that but uh, let's not uh, go that to that that extent 
we can say, simply say that our complexity order d square and d in our case is 12 number of digits is 12 so it is very well within the time limit so let's see the code uh, we have done the same thing we have converted this to digits first now once we have converted to digits we find out the sum and if it is less than equal to target we just return zero otherwise we find the difference and if we will take with ourselves okay we have this numbers right now finally we have to return a integer so that's where i have taken this number into array or into a vector and uh, finally what i have done i have uh, because we will be adding from the backward like we will add 0 first and then 3 and then 9 and then 1 the array would we will have is 0 3 9 1 right so what I've done, uh, reverse the array and just return it by converting it to number. Now, what we are actually doing in this loop is exactly similar to what we should pseudo code. So we will just check whether digits is zero. If it is, we don't have to do anything. We just add zero because uh, we this zero is important here, right? Uh, now, if it is not zero, we will find out what we need to add, right? And uh, we will uh, we will push that to our added array and we will propagate that one or we will add this one to the remaining digits and again find out the sum and difference okay so hope this makes sense now these three are the helper function this one converts the n to the vector of digits this convert vector of digits to an integer uh, and finally this function adds adds this number to uh, the, the digits here so let's uh, look at the last one that is interesting uh, all that are very similar so we reverse the digit because let's say you have to add uh, let's take this example okay uh, you have to add uh, two to this number okay so where you will start you will start from the last digit right so that's where i have reverted this uh, this digits so that it will become eight nine nine and now I will try applying the operation starting from 8. Okay, so that's what uh, this is just for simplicity. And now once uh, we do this, we will just simply add the digit to the current number, find out the uh, carry and just uh, um, like the do modulus 10 to find out the current digit value. Okay, so for example, here if we add 2, we will have carry over one and the current digit will become, will become zero. Now we will do the same thing. One plus nine, which is become 10. We'll carry over one, one plus nine, 10, and then carry over one is left. Okay. Now this carry over one is left, but this should be here, right? So that's where if add is zero, I'm just simply adding it. Okay. Now, finally, this is again reversed. So we have to reverse it again to get the final number. So that's where we have reversed it. Okay, so hope you got the solution. If you have any doubts in this problem, please post them in the conversation below. I would be happy to answer. If you like the video, give it thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.